with TFC. If you like what you see, hit subscribe. Today we're gonna to talk about CDT speakers. So we had a, uh, let's show CDT speakers out of California. We bought a three-way set with them. Uh, this is about what story that happened. We bought a three-way set with them. We installed them into the Corvette. Um, took them out about one day, and one day they uh, they all three of them stopped working, so we sent it back. Um, customer service they have took almost two months to get them back. Uh, you emailed them, they wouldn't respond the same day. Uh, then we ended up calling them a couple times. We finally got someone on the phone. They said the only reason why we haven't got our speakers back because they don't know our address. Even though we shipped it to them with a sheet of paper with an address, our old order number, and even on the shipment box itself as the address where it came from. But anyway, so we gave them, sent them my email for address and we got our product back. Now, they did they did do one thing, they sent this brand new product, they replaced them, so we have their, so here we have, what's this one called? This is the, now it's getting bad. That's even worse. This is a two inch wide range tweeter we have from them. Then we also have their, mid-range driver right here this is a three inch and then the door we have a six inch which we're going to show you guys shortly um we tuned these pretty good they just i was amazed they all went out but anyway they sent a letter pretty much saying they did this for free just for great customer service and they are not responsible if you do not know how to set your gains or if you do not if you have a car accident i don't know where they get that from Please make sure your system delivers clean and undistorted signet, signet, please make signature. I can't read the road, it's starting to blur. Signal is what the word they wanted to use. Uh, thank you, CDT Auto Technician Warranty Department. So I do applaud them for sending brand new ones. This is the second time we did this in less than a year. The first time, uh, the guy was really rude. I should read his emails. He, got, he was so rude to you at the point I asked him that I offend him somehow. All I did was send the speakers back trying to get them fixed. Uh, first time we sent them back, they sent a the picture of them and the whole basket was bent in. They said that that's why the speaker's not working. Well, when we shipped it to them, we shipped, this is the shipping, how we shipped it to them. Plastic wrapping cardboard. And so when they opened it, this whole basket was pretty much bent all the way to the, the it looked like it fell on the floor, it was bent all the way to the magnet. So I said, I didn't ship it that way. It's, it, if, unless the package itself was crushed, the speaker wouldn't be crushed, and the guy said the package wasn't crushed. Then they, they, was really, they pretty much ignored me for like two months, and then that's how we got to the second set. So this is our third set of speakers from them. Um, I can't tell you how they sound, I haven't enjoyed it. It's been a year trying to get them done three months every time something happens. So, uh, I should have went with four cow like I always do, but I didn't. So we're gonna put these in and we're gonna tune it and we're gonna, uh, we're gonna try to see how good they are, get a review, see how good they are. This is CDT. We're gonna give an in-depth more review on these later. Uh, we'll sit down and go over their specs. And then we have another video after that, we'll show you the install inside the Corvette. Hey y'all, welcome back to another TFC cooking video. As you've seen, most of my cooking videos are around dinners, but sometimes you already have your entree and your side veggie. But something is still missing. Psst, psst, hey, hey, I got what you need. <laughs> I had a pack of frozen crawfish tails in my freezer and I thought, how do I turn this into a side dish? Then it hit me, duh! It's my crawfish cornbread recipe. The recipe, as always, is going to be listed in the description box. So let's get started. All right guys, preheat the oven to 350 degrees. I'm taking my handy dandy electric skillet and heating it to medium. Now I live in Atlanta, so fresh crawfish are hard to come by, but we do have frozen crawfish tails. So I'm gonna use those. If you can get your hands on the fresh ones, go ahead and use that. Or if you can't find crawfish at all, then you can substitute a pound of shrimp roughly chopped. The seasoning I'm going to use 
is a Cajun seasoning, but if you don't have that, you can also use Old Bay. It'll taste slightly different, but it'll still be good, trust me. Add two tablespoons of butter to the pan and add in your crawfish. If you're using fresh crawfish tails, no need to do this step. If you're using raw shrimp, go ahead and do the same thing I'm doing here and cook your shrimp until pink. Alright, my tails are heated through, no need to cook them for long. So I'm going to take them out and transfer them into a bowl and clean out my pan. The remaining juice that's going to be left in the bottom of the pan, just dump that out. Alright, next step is to take a tablespoon of canola oil and add in your diced onions and green onions. Cook these until soft and translucent, like this. We don't need to saute them until they're brown, only to cook them until the raw, crunchy taste is cooked out. Put that in a large bowl and set aside. Make sure your crawfish and onion mixture is cooled off before we start this next step. As you can see, my onions are in the bowl. Next, we're adding in our box of Jiffy Cornbread Mix. No substitutions on this one, guys. Use the Jiffy brand in the blue box. Pour in a stick of melted butter and eight ounces of shredded cheese. I actually grated a block of Kobe Jack cheese this time, but if you're in a rush, go ahead and get the pre-shredded package. And guys, it, I, I use Kobe Jack cheese, but you can also use um, cheddar cheese, and it might also taste good with pepper jack cheese. If anybody uses another cheese blend, leave it in the comments below. I'd like to know how it came out. All right, guys. Get the can of Rotel tomatoes and make sure to drain them before you add it into your bowl. I use the mild tomatoes, but if you like it spicy, use the hot ones. I'm adding in three large eggs, slightly beaten, and now add in your crawfish tails as well. Now as I'm mixing, it might look a little weird, like where did all of my cornbread go? But don't worry, it'll come together at the end. Okay, I have my 9 by 13 baking dish that I've sprayed with nonstick cooking spray. I'm going to pour my mixture into the bowl and spread it out evenly. Now it's going into the oven at 350 degrees for 40 to 50 minutes depending on your oven. Mine was in there for about 45 minutes. After it cooks, let it cool for 10 to 15 minutes just so the cornbread is easier to cut. And there you have it. Now guys, this would also be awesome as a substitute for your traditional dressing or stuffing that you use for Thanksgiving or Christmas. It's also good as an appetizer in a muffin pan or on the side with some gumbo. I mean, the possibilities are endless guys. But I'll let you decide how you want to incorporate it into your rotation. Time to have Mr. TFC try it. Well, today was a hard day. I hope you guys enjoyed the video of the vehicles. And also, today's meal, we have crawfish cornbread. It's a tongue twister. We have cheese, rotel on the side of it. It's delicious. Man, it's good. It tastes just like New Orleans. You can taste the, the crawfish flavor coming in. With the cheese, it's perfect blend with a little crunch to it. Now, this thing, to me, this is something good that you can have. Like a, a nice day where you ain't doing nothing. Right before the day starts, you can eat this like before you uh, actually go out fishing, before you go out to the, the car shows. Uh, also, to me, I don't know, I'm going to try. This is something that you can let cool off. It, it travels well. This is delicious. Mmm. Mmm. Very good. Please hit subscribe. I'm sorry. Hit subscribe if you want some more recipes, more videos about the car. Our next video we'll have is going to be outstanding. Uh, please come back and listen. And welcome to TFC.